Welcome, y'all. Press select for options. Me, Matt, along with Jeffrey Hal Brown over here. I said your full name. And Fred. So they already know. They, they could probably find that uh, out through the Facebooks. Yes, you can. All right. Don't look for me. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Anyway, on screen right now we have split second. Split but second. It's so awesome. I split love screen this. on split second. This racing game's the best. Oh. Look at it, insane. Um, Disney Interactive. And, you know, Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to have a split second level. It's going to be great. There's going to be explosions. And we have nothing. Not a yeah, damn no, the downtown no, central. No, not the downtown. Go to the airport terminal. Go to the airport terminal. Yes. Okay, guys. We, we want to try something a little different here on this episode of Press Life yeah, like Options. Playing game. We're playing a game, but this game is different. Yeah, it like involves cars. Thing. Yeah, exploding. Explosions, cars, and Jeff's going to... Crashing a bunch of walls. It's gonna be great. Probably, I wouldn't die. Anyway, yeah, I could pick my stuff. We, we're gonna real talk right now, and uh, yeah, we're actually gonna talk about uh, that there uh, E3, 2013, and we're, yep. gonna, we're gonna cover that there. Uh, we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk right about it right now. That Xbox One and that Microsoft uh, <laughs> conference. Pretty uh, sexy stuff there. Uh, pretty, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I guess if you sexy describes uh, mountain of shit. Where'd you, it's, yeah, it's a mountain of shit. I don't even know. Where, where do you even start when you walk up to a mountain of shit? Uh, you're like, <laughs> Xbox One. Started from the bottom. There was a few issues with the, uh, a few? I used the word, word few very lightly. You guys issues. even know how to play this game for a I don't know how to play Well, we're going to figure it out. We, we just like drive. Wait, what, R2? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I got this. Oh, God, split screen. L2 is the break. No, it's not. No, it's, oh, okay. I believe. That's illegal, you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the shithole that uh, X the Xbox One was and Microsoft's E3 conference. What to talk about? What to talk about? First order of business. What, what, what we got there, Fred? You know, fucking. Let's talk about them running those games on the graphics, the PC, the Titan graphics cards. You know? On that day, Xbox One got a reminder, a grim reminder. Yeah, a grim reminder. <laughs> oh, for anyone who gets that reference, for all two of you that watch. <laughs> but, you know, you but yeah, the, uh, you know, instead of actually running their consoles and being a confident company, they had PCs running with Titan uh, graphics card. And, you know, when you're, when you're trying to showcase a new console, you know, you should actually do you know, just that showcase a new console. You, you should probably not have it on high-end PCs running three times faster than what you promised. Personally, in my opinion, that's kind of like lying to your uh, consumer base. That you shouldn't. Whoa! Look at the sick kicks. At this at this point, you can at this point you can kind of say what consumer base, but but still, there's still those people. Those, oh my God! I suck at this. You don't pick the same damn car. He I, picked the same car as me. I didn't think I I didn't think whatever. Anyway, but. You know, you don't, that's technically lying to your consumer base. You shouldn't be running demos of your new games on a well, PC. Well, do, do the Sony do that too? Because... See, if, you if, don't know, though. If yeah. they did do it, they, they hit it well because uh, Microsoft's there's no controversy around Yo, Microsoft, this is Microsoft they right now. Fixing it. It was weird. That's yeah, they did. They got people got pictures and it just looks bad. Yeah. So, like... This is Microsoft right now. They're they're Sony last gen, pretty much. That's what they they're cocksure. They're just in there. They're like, you guys are just gonna like what we give you, and um, that's it. And then you then you gotta oh, oh that was the <laughs> Xbox One right yeah. there. <laughs> but then you gotta then you also gotta actually solve what was sick tricks. You know we we all watched E3 I'd imagine. So you're looking at a 499 uh, price tag. Then you gotta actually solve is that price tag even worth it? What they're giving you. And then you gotta look at the, uh, for example, one thing that stood out for Sony, for me personally, was the uh, first party games. You know, Uncharted, Little Big Planet. They're all pretty interesting. The, oh, you mean, I thought you meant this gen. That's no, no, no. I'm, no. I'm, no, I'm trying. I'm trying. I don't play racing Woo! games. See, look, I got, I got a little. If this bumps. was, um, oh. if this was slap happy rhythm busters, I'd be all over it. Anyway, but you know, you know, Sony had a little more, you know, at the table when it came to uh, first party games and. You know, Microsoft claims to be offering more for the Xbox they One. They said hundreds of games. Hundreds. Didn't you hear them? A, a blistering 60 frames a second. How, how bad am I doing? You're doing really bad, but uh, when you get around this bend, coming up, press the circle. And you're going to change the bend. No. 
Anyway. Oh, Jeff already did. You can oh. do it a second time. He's not giving me the promise. Yeah, you're not there yet. Uh. You're like mad far. Okay, okay. So, what else we got? So, how about uh, the start of the new free games program? What the hell is all that about? Apparently, from what I heard, you get what? Uh, Assassin's Creed 2 and I think uh, Fable? Will... It was, no, it was Assassin's, it was Assassin's, Assassin's Creed, Creed 2 and Halo 3. Halo 3. Okay, there's a someone brought up a good point I heard the other day. Is, is this the oh, bare bones Halo 3 with no maps? Or is this OS... What was it? ODST? Oh, it's, not, it's not ODST. It's, 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 Halo it's just 3. bare bones Halo 3. Yeah, but... That, see, that doesn't even... That's not even next. I don't know if it's bare bones. I don't know if it's just, you know, just Halo By 3 without the way, extra. Do it. Do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Stop, t- stop telling me to do things in-game. You're, you're getting me off track here, buddy. <clears throat> Anyway. It's what? It's two select games. Whatever they choose. And it's two select games every what month? Is, is, this, gonna, is this gonna start on the 360? I, 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 I actually have no idea. There's no clarification on that. It has to be because... Fable 2? No, it, no, it has to be because no, it's, 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 it's Halo, Halo 3 and Assassin's Creed 2. Yeah, so it has to start on the Xbox. Old 360. games too, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's so... I don't know. I think, I think it, that's just something they're trying to offer 360 users until they, uh, you know... Because they're trying to cop until, until they uh, try to get an Xbox. Th- this one is how I see it right now with this, right? You got PS PS Plus. People like it. You get a lot of free stuff. You get free themes. You get avatars. You get stuff discounted. You get games. You get a, you get some good selection of games like Spec Ops: The Line. They offered for free recently. Uh, Deus Ex: Human Revolution. Stuff like that. But Microsoft's just it's like it's like a step below PlayStation Plus. This is how I see it: Steam, PlayStation Plus, and then you know oh, yeah. Xbox. Because they're trying to copy Steam and PS Plus, which have already been doing it way better. The only thing PlayStation Plus really doesn't do right now is what? You can't gift things to people. You're so. terrible. I thought Jeff was terrible. I, I'm, to be truly I'm honest. sorry, Jeff. No, to be truly honest, I can't really see the track. I can. What, are you blind? Well, I don't have my glasses on. Put your glasses on. I don't know where they're at. Anyway, um, that's my. there's there's a good point right there is that they're, they're just trying to copy what... What Sony's been doing for like the last two years yeah. or whatever, and they're trying, and also what Steam's doing as it's mad popular, you know, free stuff. They're they're like, oh well, if we offer you two games, what are you gonna complain about anymore? Plenty. You're charging sixty dollars for a service that Sony's like with PlayStation Plus, even though you're gonna have to use it online only on the PlayStation Four just to play online multiplayer. You still get a lot of benefits from PlayStation Plus, and it's ten dollars cheaper right now. So, what's you get two free games with, uh, with gold now? Woo! Pick, pick, pick a vehicle. You know what else they didn't um they didn't put behind a pay wheel? A pay wheel, a uh, paywall mm. for a PlayStation Plus. You it won't interfere with your Netflix. It won't interfere with Crackle, Hulu. I imagine Crunchyroll. Well, like so it shouldn't do that. If it did that but for PS4, it'd be a step back. But with X, with yeah, Xbox, Xbox you good. need to have gold to access yeah, Netflix and shit, gold. right? And all that ESPN stuff they talk about. Like isn't that their big selling point? ESPN, bunch of. Did you, did you since, since we're talking about that right now? Did you guys hear about the uh, beta for their pay per view service for? Uh, the yeah, PC? I heard about it. It's stupid. Is yeah, a pay per view still a thing? Yeah. yeah, no, yeah, they show the UFCs. I watch the UFCs on pay per view all the time. I'm surprised. I'm surprised people don't stream it. Did we pick the same cards again? It is really, yeah, we yeah, did. It's really hard to find streams of like pay per views. Mm. Well, still, I, I down, thought pay per view like, was uh, obsolete. No, it's not. It's actually, it's so then again, I, see, my thinking right now is, for me personally, I, I feel like TV is just dying out in general. Yeah, ah! I don't know about that, man. For, I, I don't know. I just don't. That's because you don't watch it. Yeah, I guess that's it. I'm. I'm. Oh, a lot. Of, a lot of people who well, tend the game and stuff like that tend to not watch. TV. What about our 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 generation, like from eighty eight or eighty five and up? Yeah. Do we even? Most of us even don't we watch stuff on YouTube or whatever? We watch shows because most of the stuff on TV isn't like a lot of it's not even that interesting. Or is this crappy uh, reality? It, it, TV? And it's a lot of products in your face and stuff. Oh my god! Oh, what the? Wow, you really touched them. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, oh, crash. I did hit a wall though, a, a pillar or whatever. So that's the defense. I barely tapped the car. That was well. Like, oh, I mean, nice that's how out. Microsoft is. They barely touched on anything. And they blew up. So, so how about those? I, uh, I just think the TV thing is just, I don't know, it's just not a good selling point, especially to the, the people um, that are 20-something right now. 
they're really people are 20 something is not watching TV like my I always use my grandfather as an example for this because he watches news when I go over his house I don't watch the news I don't know watching Bill O'Reilly all day or whatever I can't I, how do you do that it's really older people thought. You'd like really have a car and explode. Well, Stop maybe you should. Fucking a car. I just blew up all those cars because I'm Sony and I'm better. You Sony. Like, I expect it better from you, man. Okay, so what were you going to say? I was like, those, uh, how about those first party games that they're offering? They're not really. I, everyone was talking about how Microsoft was offering more games, but the reality is there's only like a few that caught my eye. And um, it was Killer Instinct, The Division, the Tom Clancy game. Um, it's, uh, that open world, like, uh, you guys saw it at the end of the, oh, uh, yeah, you saw it at the end, right, The Division? Yes. It's like an open world, realistic, like, apocalypse kind of game. It's, it's pretty cool, it looks really awesome, I, I like it. But, um, it's only on Xbox One. There was one other, oh yeah, Titanfall, that also caught my eye, like everyone else. Titanfall looks cool. Um, I don't know if Titanfall is completely exclusive, though. Then, then actually, it's a mech game. Mech game. Yo, yeah, yeah you gotta check that out. Actually, it's a they, they were game. talking about that for a while. I don't know if it's purely Xbox One. Maybe that's what I saw. Maybe it's gonna be like Destiny, where they got on the PlayStation Four how it's like a timed exclusive, and they just they said that we got a con a long term that contract. That happened a lot with a lot of Xbox games. Their contract ran up, and Sony was like, "Here, yeah, we got money." Make like a better PS3 version. Pretty much. Nice. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. I can't say everything. Not every game. Not every game. Can you, like, boost this? No. No, uh, you can draft them. Um, oh. Okay. Which also gives you uh, more power to play points to blow shit up. You know what's another thing Sony's got going for them? Price. Because they took out the... Kin they Microsoft's including the Kinect. That's why it's $100 more. And Sony's like, we do yeah, Oh. That, that was probably a last minute. I can't imagine that was a last minute thing. Sony's like, oh, let's let them go. Okay. Okay, yeah. Don't include the camera. Yep. Take it out, take it out, take it out. <laughs> <laughs> probably. The, um, uh, speaking of, uh, obviously, the PlayStation 4 and the 360, the Xbox One, you guys heard about the sales on Amazon, how they've, they're they done, like, with the la the first batch of launch stuff. That all the, the, play the PlayStation 4s are just sold out, just yeah. like a, a friend of ours, uh, like Jeremy was talking about. His store, they're all they're sold out on pre-orders. It's insane. I feel like well, I've, I've been saying this on Facebook a lot re recently. Um, it's gonna be like the PlayStation 2, GameCube, and Xbox. That's how I see it. It's gonna be like PS PS2 is gonna be your main gaming console. GameCube's gonna be your side thing, and no one's gonna care about the Xbox again. Very few people did. Looks Halo. Like yeah, Halo. Halo was their Halo. Imagine where Microsoft would be without Halo. Without Halo. Halo. Without Halo. What, what if they were... This guy's trying to kill me. They're still on the Halo, so... They are. They are. Do you see Master Chat? Ma Master, Master Chat. Chat. Ma <laughs> Do you see Master Chief versus a giant sand cat in the desert? No. They're crazy. The Call of Duty dog's gonna help. What about that killer instinct? What's going on? Oh, it looks so... Oh, I wrecked myself. You know what? It might... Even if it... <laughs> even if it looks like a Street Fighter 4 clone, it looks fun. It looks like a game I'd want to play. But yeah. it's on the Xbox One. And at their E3 conference, they showed it off. Yeah, cool. Um, the scripted part that they have was stupid because they had the, um, the chick up there, right? Uh, one of the producers on the Xbox One team. And uh, someone working on Killer Instinct, one of the main team members. And he's, like, destroying her. And she's like, oh, man, I don't even know how to block. She's just getting destroyed. He's like, oh, just take it. It'll be over soon. I'm like, oh, wow, this is... This is kind of awkward, actually. Think that'll stay in exclusive. Yeah, it's owned okay, by it, it's rare, it's by oh, and okay. rare is owned by Microsoft. Oh, okay. I didn't yeah, know. no, that's definitely exclusive for all time, okay. unless Microsoft, unless Xbox completely flounders, I guess. Yeah. All right. I can't. Here's the thing. I see it right now. People are gonna buy the Xbox One. They're gonna buy it. It's a fact. Not unless they're on submarines and they're gonna buy a 360. Oh yeah, yeah. That's right, Don Matrix. Uh, one of the head Xbox guys that you see up on the stage a lot, he was like in an interview with Jeff Keighley uh, on game trailers or whatever, and he was like, what do you tell those people that don't have internet connections? Well, I was reading the blogs, all of them. All, no, how all did it, million. Wait, no, the exact thing was like, oh, well, I was, yeah. Well, <laughs> 
this is um you buy a 360 that's um that's my uh answer to that's my answer to people who don't have constant internet connections. I was reading the blogs. He was like this. I was I was reading all the blogs, all of them. And this guy said, that, and this guy said, uh, I'm on a nuclear sub. What do I do? And he's like, I, I don't know what it's like to be on a nuclear sub. You know what I mean? I don't about either. That. Do you? He uh, besides besides him saying that, he uh, the the face he was making throughout the whole thing, it was like so. It was so bought, like corporate. Not even, not even that. Is that he was given like the I don't care look. Like he was like. He was like this. He was just like wh- whatever. What as long as you, you, you buy, as long as you buy something Microsoft related, I can care less. I, I can really care. Even if the system. Fails you know what? Buy, you know what? Buy an Xbox One on your submarine and don't connect it all. Just just look at it. It's wonderful. It's a, it'll bring you back to the oh, old days of VCRs. Speaking, and, and speaking of the submarine thing, I, I don't think we wrote this down, but they have a new model, the 360, coming out. Before or a little bit after the Xbox what? One comes out, yeah, they have a new model yeah, coming out. Model. It's a four gigabyte model, and it looks like the Xbox One. Why? Because they knew, they knew this was going to be a problem. So, like, let's release a 360. It looks like the Xbox One. People will still buy because they're playing 360. What they don't realize is Sony's got a much better lineup of games this season right now. And they're still going strong, what? and the, it's just looking good for Sony right now. Like The Last of Us. Right now, I'm not going to lie. I mean, you asked me before about my Jeff. opinion of it, yeah. and I would tell you this right now. From playing it just a little bit, it's just, it's amazing. It really is. I love the look. It just looks really good, and the story and the premise is really nice. I like that post-apocalyptic stuff. You're right there in the thick of it, and then it jumps, like, it jumps ahead a bit. But it's, it's just really fun. It's fluid. It's really different, actually. It's kind. It's kind of like they took the structure from Uncharted Four, but made it way more. Uncharted Four. Yeah, it's Uncharted Four. Uncharted Four. I love that game. Um, Uncharted it's like, Four. It's PlayStation like, Four. It's like they took the structure. <laughs> they, it's like they took Uncharted and they're like, okay, how can we make this more, a bit more slower paced, slower paced, and you know, not as frantic. Here we go. And they did it. And The Last of Us is really good. And it's gonna, it's gonna move PS3s this. If, if anything, it's gonna move PS3s this uh, holiday. I see. It's a, it's a big title right now, and it's, yeah. it's doing really well. And all the reviews are good. I mean, I haven't heard a single negative thing against The Last of Us. I do have a single. I do actually have a gripe, a little bit. There was some, there was some uh, loading I didn't like when the game started up, but that was about it. Boom. And that saving game bug you came out with. Yeah, yeah, that too. Easily but, fixable on it, and he did fix it right away. Yeah, they did fix it. They got right on it, so whatever. I love when they get right on that song. Yeah, they actually... Well, they got it. That's a huge title for them right now. Yeah. They got to make sure it's good. And I heard the multiplayer's really good. So... I'm actually wrecking people. I'm pressing so, X. So, <laughs> yes, right now, and also PS3 is beating 360 out in sales worldwide. So, I don't know what Microsoft's Woo! game plan is here, Woo! but they better... <laughs> They better come out and say something, like, hello, um, this is why we're putting DRM in. Some, um, speaking of that, their reasoning, that some, really some, of not, uh, some anonymous engineer came forward and gave their reasoning. While their reasoning isn't that bad, like, it makes sense because they want to eliminate used games. Yeah. And GameStop, pretty much. They're not doing a very good job of it. Cause they're Participating not, retailers. GameStop. GameStop. Or a game, if you live uh, in Probably Europe. Best Buy, too. Maybe. Best Buy is kind of getting on that game a little yeah, bit. I don't, I don't know. Well, something like that. I uh, I was very interested in the flyers that GameStop's been handing out, apparently, uh, explaining everything about the Xbox One. Oh, How, you know. Yeah, I'm going to interrupt. Yeah, go ahead. Real quick. Just tell everybody about uh, GameStop, man. Oh. Oh, so I, I walk into GameStop, and I'm like... You know, they revealed Smash Brothers for the Wii U and 3DS, and I'm like, let me see if I can get on that pre-order for the 3DS version. You know, I don't have a Wii U yet, but I am buying it for Smash. Anyway, so I'm waiting in line, and the GameStop employee's talking to another customer in the store, and he's like, yo, man, get the PS4. It plays those PS3 and PS2 games, man. And I'm like, backwards compatible. it's backwards compatible, and I'm like, well, I don't know, I've never heard any of that, and I'm like, I'm talking to myself. And then I get up to the guy, and I'm like, I'm like, hey, bro, I'm like, what's good? And he's like, hey, and I'm like, you guys taking pre-orders on uh, 3DS Smash Brothers yet? And he was like, no, we're not. He was like, wait a minute, 3DS? It's only coming out for the Wii U. And I'm like, dude, bro, did you did you watch E3? It's coming out for both. And he was like, no, it's not. And I'm like, yeah, it is. And he was like, well, maybe maybe I didn't see that part. 
How can you miss it when it said for 3DS and for Wii U? You gotta love when those GameStop employees know what to talk They don't, they don't watch E3. What was Battlefield Premium Edition? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I just imagine when he says that, when, when he says that, he look, looks back at, like, his manager, his manager, like, shrugs his shoulders, like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> He's got cracked. What else, what else do we have on there? So, um, yeah, what, what is Crimson Dragon? Crimson Dragon, spiritual. essentially, it's a spiritual, it's a spiritual successor to Panzer Dragoon Order. Right. That was the last one that came out on the Xbox, I believe. And... No audio. This, yes, this is going to lead into another thing. Um, there was no audio. The video they were playing, it looked nice. It looked beautiful. It looked fun. But there was no audio. And I could hear in the crowd, if you listen closely, like, Xbox done. <laughs> Xbox one stupid or something like that. Some bullshit, you know? And, uh... And, and what happened is, because that, that's not really anything we're talking about that much. I mean, they, they got to show the game. There was no audio. That sucks. Whatever. Um, the main thing was next. Battlefield 4 they showed off, right? Or, I'm sorry. They tried to. <laughs> the guy's up there, and he's talking about Battlefield 4, and they're about to show um, the demo. Or the tech, the tech uh, video or whatever. So they're about to show it, and it doesn't play. It doesn't play for like three minutes or something. And the guy's standing up there, and people are yelling at him, Xbox done! <laughs> Xbox one, only one person will buy it! He did, did that, I felt bad for that guy, he just wanted to get off stage. So, no, he, I, 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 at first I was, but then he turned into a real dickbag, because he's just like, quiet. Well, why would you why would you feel if you're on stage trying to reveal something that wasn't working, and the people in the crowd were getting So loud. he's like, I guess you'll see it later, and he tried leaving, and they're like, no, we got it going, and then they played it. That was embarrassing. That was really embarrassing. I mean, of course, if the crowd's gonna get louder, you'd be like, "Quiet, please!" And like, now he was like, "Shut the fuck up, God!" Another thing. Xbox done. Another, and he walks out. <laughs> another thing is all this like exclusive stuff Microsoft's got going, right? I hear a lot of it's just exclusive content, not anything particular, like Call of Duty, like the Call of Duty dog thing. That's not even exclusive. That's just. It's a dog, though. It's there. I mean, where's my Call of Duty fish? Well, they are calling it. They are calling the console the X Bone as well, and dogs like bones. Oh, wait, something everyone keeps overlooking and forgetting. The guy who was talking about Plants vs. Zombies, the modern warfare game or whatever. They, they, yeah. Fred, did you hear what? about that? There's a there's a new Plants vs. Zombies, and they're using Frostbite 3. <laughs> what? They're using Frostbite 3 what? to make this. Now, wait, wait. They, they, they announce it, and it's like Modern Warfare. Yeah. Or like Battlefield or whatever. And who, who does uh, Plants vs. Zombies at EA? I believe I have no idea. So, okay, it's modern. Yeah, no, it's modern plant fair or something. And they're showing it off, and basically it takes all... It looks like it takes most of the skill out from Plants vs. Zombies. Uh, It's all 3D, and you can pick a plant, I guess, and uh, use it to kill other plants. And the guy who was announcing it um, was way too excited, because after that, he jumped up, and he screamed, Peggle 2. (laughs) <laughs> that was immediately after no, the. No, save my, get back to the order. That was immediately after the presentation of Plants vs. Zombies. He said, Peggle 2! And no one. Dude, made, made no one cheered. They were like, Peggle. No one cheered for him, by the way. No one. I kind of felt bad for that guy. Oh my god, you're almost Peggle 2. Go, go, get do it. Spread all Guys, Peggle 2 is coming out. Peggle 2. Oh, you got it. Oh, guys, guys, guys. Who activated that? Me. Oh. Again, Peggle 2. Peggle 2. Peggle 2. Yeah, save yours until you get back over to that pass, I guess. Dude. So what else we got? What else we got there? Um... What? Ask and you shall receive. Oh, yeah. The Hideo Kojima. <laughs> he was on the stage for like two seconds, you guys say? Because it's broken English. Well, that's how they <laughs> opened up. I, I feel like that was the way they could... save that. This is the way I look at it with that, is that, like, because of how bad a reception the Xbox One had in their conference, the 19 days before Xbox One, they were going to show off more at E3 with the games, I feel like this is their way, it was their way of trying to get more people interested, so they had Metal Gear Solid Five as, like, the way they opened their show. Okay, that's not bad, and they showed off the trailer, it looks alright, I mean, I found it kind of interesting, it was kind of weird with the horror stealth thing. Hey man, there's a horse over there. It looks like someone's leaning on the side. Ignore it. Ah, uh, yeah. Stole. What? Yeah, no, uh, Snake Lake holds onto the side of the horse. Yeah. And 
he just gets past some guards. Oh. Yeah, new stealth options. So, after that uh, trailer, Hideo, Hideo Kojima, yeah, I'm saying that, I'm probably saying it wrong. Hideo, 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 Hideo Kojima. Um, Hideo Kojima. Kojima-sama. Um... So he get, he's like, uh, thank you for checking out Metal. Thank you for checking out Metal Gear Solid Five. Thank you, paycheck. And then he left. Ooh! Oh, you just went right, right to the wall. What's going on? That was that was funny. He's just like, oh, watch me do sick burnouts. <laughs> yeah. Wow, wow. So, so yeah, that was pretty funny. Like he was on stage for all two or five seconds or whatever. And he's like, goodbye. He was, at, he was at Xbox One I can't do. They're like, Hideo Kojima's there. I gotta buy the Xbox One now. That Hideo was... Kojima-sama, should I buy the Xbox One? Oh, yes. <laughs> so, some people tend to be uh, concerned about multi-platinum, uh, you know, platform games. Uh, what, what did they show up for Microsoft? That was multi-plat? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm still questioning about uh, Quantum Break. Go through there. Go through there. I don't know whether Quantum Break's actually, like, exclusive or not. What was one? A uh, Metal Gear Solid Five. That's obviously multiplayer. That's multiplayer. Did Battlefield? Oh uh, Battlefield's not. The Call of Duty's not. Oh, they didn't even show off any Call of Duty now that I think about it. Uh, oh, come on. What else? What else? I'm trying to th I'm really trying to think of other well, games. I like everyone's just passing me. I'm trying to think of other games. Ah. Uh, well... What are you thinking about that? Let's talk about that cloud power. Like, what's going on with that? It we sounds, have limitless. We have limitless power in the cloud. 